hello everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a little another little single shadow swatching video I bought I made an order from pretty Spreaker face in March at the beginning of March I believe these are all of the beautiful shadows that I got right here um they were having a sale and then I used a discount code on top of it so I believe I paid like 250 each for each one of these shadows which is can't really beat that in my opinion um and initially I made this order because two shades were in collaboration with one of my IG friends Artie um their Instagram handle is at Artemis the Android and I believe Tesseract and Android these two shades here they did in collaboration with Pretties for Your Face and I was like those look great I feel like I've heard a good amount of people talk about Pretties for Your Face the price was right and I just made an order so I thought I would just do some swatching as you know a first initial impression and then showing you up close swatches just to see what these shades look like um, and I obviously will do videos using these in the future and stuff as well I will say um, I know that Lauren May Beauty has talked about pretties for your face before and she was like it feels indie like it feels indie indie um, and I do agree with that so if that's something that you may be off put by this might not be the brand to shop from for you I don't personally think that's a bad thing at all but just want to put it out there and what I mean by that is just like um, some of the pans aren't filled up all the way or like they're uneven um, there's different textures some of them are a little bit chunkier and flaky um, but again not a bad thing just it feels maybe a little bit more I don't want like me like homemade but I don't I really don't want that to come across as a negative thing um, it just feels more like an independent eyeshadow brand than if you buy something from like Cleona or Terra Moons or something um, their shadows are a little bit more uniform and things like that but all of these shadows look super beautiful and I'm super excited to use them and swatch them so let's just get on into it and if you're wondering this look I filmed for my three looks one palette using the blend bunny dollhouse palette so if you're curious about that that's what's on my eyes it will be coming this week I believe and on my lips I know it doesn't look the best but it's what we're working with today and I really can't be bothered to wipe it off I tried for so long to just fucking try to blend this light purple lipstick in and make it look good not patchy and it's just not really doing what I wish that it would do too bad for you and me okay let's just start I've organized these in like basically rainbowish order so this first shade is the shade red light green light it I believe on the website said that it was like a white with green and red shifts to me this looks mostly like a white shade that's not bad at all like I don't I think it's a beautiful shadow I've used this actually already on an on my inner corner um but yeah it's just a really nice like bright metallic sparkly white shade it feels a little bit chunky but honestly once you smooth it out and once you kind of like blend it a little bit on your eyes I don't find that they are like overly difficult to work with or anything like that nothing crazy compared to any other shadow that I've used this
is the shade Valentine Baby. This is chunkier, maybe not quite as chunky as red light, green light. This is basically like this is basically like a really light pink. It's almost like a metallic pink with like a white, no, like a metallic white with like a pink hue to it. Again, it's going to be a really beautiful inner corner shade, or at least that's primarily how I plan to use it. I don't know. I kind of just picked whatever shades looked interesting to me or that I was drawn to because the shadows were so affordable. The next shade that I have is the shade Light as a Feather, which looks absolutely beautiful. This is a lot smoother compared to the first two shades that I just swatched, and this is a pretty strong duochrome. It's a pink to like lime green duochrome. It's really, really pretty and super um, strong shifting, so I'm really excited to use this. I think it looks so pretty. Not super sparkly though, but a really, really beautiful duochrome. The next shade that I have is the shade Tesseract, which was in collaboration with Artie. This is a beautiful... Okay, how do I s describe this? Almost like a taupey pinky gold. It's textured, it's sparkly, it's so pretty, and I absolutely cannot wait to put this on my eyes and again they feel textured and they look really textured in the pan but once you like swatch them or smooth them out they I feel like just become like really nice and sparkly they don't like you can honestly smooth them out on your arm um, and on your eyes so that they don't look like so chunky you know the next The next shade I'm really excited for, this is the shade Jack Lantern. If you watch me, you know that I'm always looking for a really nice sparkly orange. And as soon as I saw this, I knew it had to go in my order and see. So like it's really chunky, but you can see how it smooths out and becomes just like really nice and sparkly. So I was a little bit like hesitant, at, not hesitant, but wary at first. And then when I started swatching these, I was like, oh, okay. These will be absolutely fine. Um, this is just a beautiful pumpkin orange with a gold shine and lots of texture and sparkle. I cannot wait to use this. It's so pretty. <laughs>
two yellows here. Again, I'm also always on the hunt for a good yellow shadow. So this is the shade Flare. This is soft textured, but not quite as like chunky as some of the other shades. So this is a purple with a pink and blue shift. It's so pretty. It's almost like a trio chrome because it has pink and blue shifts and then you have that yellow and so sparkly this is a good one too this is a really really good one another yellow here which is the shade x-rays so this has more of a pink shift but let me just swatch it it's not quite as soft it's again a little bit more on the dry textured side and it has just pink sparkles to it I think if I had to choose between the two I like which one was this flare a little bit more but x-rays is still super beautiful. this beautiful mint this is the shade hidden treasure it's so pretty oh my god this is on the less chunky side um it's almost between like a metallic and their chunkier formula this is a mint with a pink sheen to it this is one that i'm probably most excited about and it has a gold shift as well it's so beautiful <music> shade Nightingale which is again really pretty this feels like more of a really smooth metallic so the textures definitely change between the shadows and this is honestly just a super super metallic warm kind of based shadow like warm brown red shadow base with a green shift to it I love shadows like this I can never have enough this reminds me a lot of some looksy shadows that I have. This reminds me a lot of the shade Pigeon from the Lem Crime Venus 2 palette. If you like that shade, but this is just so much better. And I, again, cannot wait. It's like a neutral that's amped up.
And I love it. And this next shade is what ultimately, in addition to Artie's shadows, ultimately made me want to buy from Pretties for Your Face. This is the shade Brocade. I've seen this on Lauren's channel so many times, and this is so sparkly. It's a little bit drier, <clears throat> but it has so many little sparkles to it. It's basically like a black-based green with tons of green sparkle that goes a little bit, like has a gold shift in there as well. It's so, so pretty. Um, it's not the same formula. It has like a little bit more fine sparkle than some of these other shades that I've already swatched, but it's so sparkly and beautiful. is the shade Eclipse which is a beautiful blue this is a little bit again on the chunkier side this requires a little bit more smoothing out but you can smooth it out pretty well like see that looks just like a nice sparkly shadow now on my arm so it's like a navy like navy blue with gold sparkle in it. Again, really beautiful, really sparkly. I'm excited to get this on my eyes. This next This next shade is the shade Cosmos. This is a really beautiful lavender. Again, on the chunkier side. This is a lavender with a gold shift, like gold sparkles to it. shade um, electrified which is a beautiful this honestly might be a multi-chrome so it has a purple and green shift but there's some gold in there as well and there might even be some blue it's sparkly and not too chunky, like it's much smoother compared to some of the other shades. It's really, it's a really beautiful, like grungy, purple, shifty shadow, which I don't really think I have anything like that, actually.
the shade Nitro, which was a last minute game time decision, but I'm so, so happy that I got this. This is a really sparkly shade that's a blue to purple duochrome and it has teal in there as well. This also might be a, like a multi-chrome. It's so pretty. There's blue, there's purple, there's like a bright teal in there. Hopefully I can get all of this on camera, but these two shades are super, super beautiful. of them are as well. Now we're getting into the more neutral, neutral shades. So this is the shade uh, Golden Glitz. I don't know. I just got this because it looked like a nice, like, bronzy, goldy shade. And it is a really, again, it's a little bit chunkier. Um, but it's a really nice, just like, bronzy, goldy shade with lots of, like, gold sparkle. going to move to this side now um, just to finish up. The shade is the shade Asteroid which is deceivingly like it's one that I think is which is a little bit softer. It feels much softer in the pan. Um, it's not super textured or anything, but it's a really be beautiful, like, warm, like, soft brown base with a pink and blue shift. I think it's going to be really nice just for, like, a more simple neutral look that's a little bit different. shade Thankful, which is another just like neutral bronzy kind of copper shade. This one is a little bit more textured. Again, look at that. So pretty. Just a nice like copper with a gold sparkle, gold sheen to it. one is interesting. This is the shade Moby, like Moby Dick. And I actually got this because my dog, like my childhood dog, is named Moby. 
Um, and nostalgia, well, she's still alive. But like love, love got to me and I was like, if there's a shade named Moby, I have to have it. Um, this is interesting. It's feels super hard pressed. It doesn't feel like any other shadow. Um, and it's basically like a warm brown with like green sparkle to it. And it doesn't look amazing at first first but when you like build it up and kind of swatch it out the like green sparkle really comes through if you can see that on my finger here I don't know I think there's potential in this shade it's not my favorite like I don't know that I would be like yes this is the one you have to get but I don't regret getting it if anything just because it's the name of my dog <laughs> shade that I have is the shade Android which is another the other collab shade that Artie did this is a beautiful silver like deep charcoal silver it's not quite black but it's like a steely shade it's really really pretty and this is just a beautiful metallic that's not super textured, but still like really nice and foiled and metallic. Um, so I think this will be a really easy shade to use and just put all over the lid to have like a super like grungy smoky eye. <laughs> shades that I got. I'm really excited about these. I think there's a ton of different like textures and colors and shifts and it's just exciting to try out like a new small indie brand and I think they're doing really exciting things and again I'm happy to support my mutual friend and I know that they have a code that I will put on the screen for 10% off um, and I know like other people have codes and stuff as well um, for pretties for your face. I'm sure many people follow <laughs> said people on Instagram but um, I know for a fact that I already has one because I used their code and when I made this order and yeah I think if you're looking for like a different Andy brand that's like relatively affordable I don't know. I like these. Hopefully this was helpful just in terms of like if you're interested in one of these shades you can see like the actual texture and how they differ and stuff like that um, because there's definitely a lot like a wide variety of textures in here in this like collection of shadows but that's kind of like fun to me too.
but it is sometimes like helpful to know what you're getting um, if the textures aren't uniform across all the shades on a website. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful. I will definitely be using these in future videos and stuff. It's always important to me to like try to incorporate the singles and stuff that I buy because sometimes I can forget about them if I don't like make a conscious effort. <sighs> Let me know if you've tried pretties for your face before, if you like them or let me know your thoughts. I always love to hear hear them. And I upload three to four videos a week. If you want to stick around, I am currently on the job hunt. So I have more time than usual to make videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I would love to see you in my next one. Bye.